Hey everybody, Josh here, VNerd here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. A question I get on a virtual daily basis is people say, hey, I see in the model number it says 29, or whatever number. That's how long the camper is, right? Well, no. <laughs> no, not usually, it's not. Usually, that's a good indication of roughly the box length of the camper, but rarely is it a, a total indication of the tip to tail, tongue to bumper length of that RV. So, what's the deal? Why are they doing this? Like this one right here, it says 29 on the front of it. So you're thinking, oh, it's a 29 footer. It's got about a 29 foot walkable space. This camper specifically that I'm standing next to though, tip to tail measures out 36 feet, 11 inches. There's quite the variance there. And there's no one single reason for it. The reasoning can actually vary by manufacturer. Like if you go back 10 plus years in the RV industry, that number that you saw, it really did generally indicate like this is the length of the RV, like a 30 BH measured out to 30 feet. But here's a funny thing. People often like to tow a smaller trailer. So some manufacturer called it a 28 BH, even though it was sized the same and they found a lot of success with it. And they published somewhere that, yeah, it's actually a 30 foot some odd inches tip to tail, but it never stopped anybody from buying it. So a lot of what we're seeing here is manufacturers, marketing agents, sometimes playing against the perception of the size of an RV. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm not saying I support it. I'm simply explaining what is, but that's not only the case. It, it, you know, to, to operate just off that assumption, sounds like, oh, they're just trying to deceive us. That's not what's happening. It can vary a little bit from manufacturer to manufacturer. Sometimes that number most definitely is used for marketing purposes or shaping an expectation kind of purposes. There are some times though, like it's common in big fifth wheels where a model number like 375 roughly indicates it has about 375 square foot of space. It could be something that stems from engineering that later on shaped the model number. It could also be almost an interior categorization between manufacturers. Uh, for instance, there's a significant difference in like the chassis and the equipment that goes into a Jayco Eagle HT 29.5 fifth wheel versus a 30.5 fifth wheel. So they, like you might look and you might see three model numbers all begin with like the same designator followed by a couple letters, FBS or whatever. You know, you get the, the alphabet soup of the business. Sometimes those are almost like an interior um, trim level categorization within even the same moder uh, manufacturer or like a series of RVs. Which is why whenever I can, anytime we list something here new or used, I always try to either go to the manufacturer's website or find an, uh, a reference online that has historical length data. And I will always try to make these handy little spec panels both in our videos and on our photo tours so that you can see the total true tip to tail length. Because some campgrounds, uh, like seasonals, sometimes they only care about the box length. Some care about the total tip to tail length. Sometimes on a fifth wheel, people only care about the lower deck length because they consider that's the only part that they're towing. That's the trick. There's more than one length that comes into play here. So it, it's impossible for a manufacturer to really know the correct one to present for you. So I think what they do is they present the most attractive number, which tends to be the smallest number. So if that's been helpful, hit the subscribe button and follow along or hit us with any more questions you have. I always get a lot of requests for a lot of different videos. Today I was able to put this one together. Who knows which one I'll get, be able to put together tomorrow. Whenever we have a nice broad spectrum topic like this, it's always something that I try to prioritize. So with that, keep the suggestions coming, keep the comments coming, and thank you for supporting my family's owned and operated facility here in Southern Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone. Thank you.